Oh, hello, everybody. This is Alien Theory here, or Derek if you prefer, uh, doing a live stream, doing uh, sort of a test live stream, which I actually was doing a little bit earlier um, to make sure I had everything right, like the audio and things like that. Uh, I, I went through the whole stream. I was talking during the whole thing, <laughs> I guess. Uh, the, the voice didn't go through. Uh, Mike Seward says, there we go, we can hear you now. KTT says, finally voice, yes. Yes, I'm here. Um, so it's a good thing I, I was doing some testing, because I, I do want to, of course, uh, play Fireteam Elite. Uh, kind of the plan is to play it when it drops at midnight. Uh, it's, it's Aliens Fireteam Elite Eve, basically. So, very excited for that. And, uh... Uh, Lizard Joe's Reptiles is uh, Alien vs. Pinball was a part of my childhood. Yeah, I mean, it's it's great. I love this game. Uh, I have it for just about every, you know, possible, imaginable format. I have it on the phone. I have it on PS3, now PS4. I have it on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, everything like that. Uh, I think even the Wii U, I might have it. Um... But it's, it's a fun game. So I thought, you know, just to do the test. And this time, actually, it seems that people can hear me, which is great. Because uh, I am fairly new to the whole PS4 thing. Um, kind of the newest uh, game console I have is the Nintendo Switch. I'm not, I'm not like, the biggest gamer in the world, but I really, really wanted to play Fireteam Elite. Uh, and that's not on Switch, so I had to get a PS4. Uh, so... I got one. I've had it for about a month now, and thank you very much, uh, the uh, M's, the M family. Thank you for tracking one down for me. This is a PS4 Pro, so it's pretty good. And uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of the time since getting it, I've just been making up for lost time playing certain games that maybe I, I wasn't able to before. Uh, one of the ones that I, I knew I just had to play was uh, the Spider-Man game, I think from 2018. Uh, Amazing game, no pun intended, but just such an awesome game uh, playing that. Um, and especially if you are an Alien fan, you'll know that Norman Osborn in the Spider-Man game is Mark Rolston, a.k.a. Drake. And it even looks like him, too. So, I, I don't know, maybe they do that thing where, you know, they put, like, the, the dots on your face and, like, do the facial capture. Um... So that was cool. It was a really cool game. And playing other games, you know, like Doom Eternal and, and Cuphead. I've been playing a lot of Cuphead. So I think my senses are, are really sharp to, to hopefully at least get through a little bit of Aliens Fire Team Elite without completely embarrassing myself. Um, Cross, Cynical, Cross Cynical says Vasquez is love interests, isn't, isn't it? Uh, if, if you want to put it that way, yeah. Uh, Drake. Mercedes Schiavone says, hey... Hello. Um, so in case you missed my last uh, completely silent screen, uh, stream, uh, let's play a little bit of Aliens vs. Pinball. Now this has three different boards, uh, or tables I guess you could say. Uh, huge fan AT. Thank you Mercedes Schiavone. Always nice to meet the little people. Um, this game came out maybe 2014-15, uh, somewhere around there. Um, a little bit after Alien Isolation, because it does have an Alien Isolation table. So it has Aliens, Alien vs. Predator, and and uh, uh, Alien Isolation. Yeah, just a normal bottle of mustard says, I was wondering why you weren't talking in the last one. Uh, yeah. James Johnson says, hey man, love your content, keep it up, thank you very much, and, and I certainly will. Um, so in, in case uh, you're unfamiliar with this game, you just want to... You know, sit around, shoot the shit while we wait. While we wait for this uh, epic occasion of Aliens Fire Team Elite. Let's play some Aliens vs. Pinball. Let's see if I can get a good score going. Uh, sometimes I'll like. Tell me one thing, Burke. You're going out there to destroy them, right? Not to study. Not to bring back. That's the plan. Not to wipe them out. That's the plan. Yeah, yeah so sometimes you can play. Uh, in a film order, kind of go through <laughs> through them, um, but uh, sometimes you just kind of fuck around. Any thoughts on the new issues of the Marvel Alien comics? Um, I've been quite enjoying them. 
Uh, I think it's a good story. It's something a little bit different, but it, it, the the art is kind of where it's 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 missing me. It, it really is because I thought maybe it was just going to be the first issue that maybe had like a rushed kind of splash panel of all these alien xenomorphs and traced off. Uh, toys and things like that but y you see it pop up throughout and it really kind of takes you out of it which is unfortunate shane white says hello shane shane i always love getting your comments i appreciate you joining the uh the stream for right now um hopefully you missed the last one where my mic was off the entire time <laughs> but uh let's let's uh let's try this out i mean i've played this game a lot uh i played it mostly on uh my ipad actually this is when i played it the most uh, so you'll see my high score is pretty low here uh, so let's do film order and let's see what we can do so there's certain things you have to sort of achieve uh, see the APC is kind of rolled up moseyed on up quit screwing around thoughts on the pulse rifle from Hasbro need it need it need it but I'm not sure um, how I can get it in Canada so I, I don't think I can actually pre-order I might have to bite the bullet and go to eBay and like do some uh, overpriced bullshit, which I'm not happy about, but I really, really want like 10 of them. Like, can you believe it? We're in a day and age now where they've made a Nerf gun of the pulse rifle. It's, it's amazing. Have you heard the audible version of River of Pain? Yes, absolutely. It's, it's, it's excellent. Um, personally, Okay, so here we go. Personally, I like Out of the Shadows the best. But I think they're all good. So press this. So now we gotta go to the atmosphere processor, which I thought I just did. Oh, wait, we gotta find Newt first. Why no aliens fire team? Well, we're waiting for it. This is kind of the pre pre show. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. So it drops at midnight, Eastern Standard. And I'm just kind of waiting it out. This is sort of a test stream. Okay, so now I go into the, the processor. Come on. Yo! Stop your grinning and drop your lid. There. Ah, fuck. See, I gotta get in there. There we go. Okay, now we're in the PS, PSV? <laughs> the APC. Okay. We've got to do some driving here. This is some GTA shit. Come on, come on. I can do it. Why do they leave all this stuff out? Ah! Ah! Oh! Oof. I'm an excellent driver. Oof. I kind of like just a game of just the APC. Ah, fuck. ah, come on. Okay, there we go. 2.5 million. I blew the transaction. I'm just grinding metal. Okay, now here the aliens come. I'm telling you, there's something moving. It ain't us. See, I gotta get to Ripley because she can like flame the the ball and shoot a flaming ball. On Ripley, yes, okay, there we go. I always love your videos, Fruit Dragon says. Thank you, Fruit Dragon. Look at that, yeah, burn, motherfucker. Oh no, uh, we got problems. Why do you think they colored the pulse rifle like the power loader? Not really, ah, uh, probably. Flaming ball. I'll have to see my doctor about that. Um, but uh, probably they, they uh, wanted to color the pulse rifle in a certain way to you know make absolutely abundantly clear that it's not really a weapon. I, I know, I know. Like you know, sometimes they'll have the orange tip on on the guns, but motherfucker. Uh, there are a few different alien arcade games. Uh, one was like. Uh, yeah, what was it called? Uh, it was like a shooter, which was fairly recently. I think it was like, you know, 2010 it came out. What was that called? I don't know. 
But then if you want to go really, really back to like the 90s, there was Alien 3 The Gun. Uh, I never got to play that. That would have been awesome. Fuck. Fuck. Oh yeah, I've seen lots of videos for people who made their own pulse rifles and put anything Hasbro does to shame. Flaming ball, orange tip, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just recently got this PS4. Uh, just really just to play Aliens Fire Team Elite. But the good thing is, because like uh, this, uh, the pinball game, I actually originally bought it for PS3, but thankfully the purchase carried over to PS4, which is nice. Like not having to buy it again, though, let's be honest, I probably would have. Like the actual game title is uh, Pinball FX3, and there's a whole, a whole bunch of different tables that you can get uh, for, for the game. Put one of the remote entry units in the tunnel? And I think the alien set is, I think it's like, gotta be less than 10 bucks, or maybe just 10 bucks on the dot, something like that. You'll probably get it on sale too. Uh, and if I remember correctly, uh, the alien versus predator table, which we'll get to in a moment once I fail gloriously here, um, that one was a free demo. So regardless, you could at least play that game. ASAP, John Legend says, how are you? Pretty good. How are you? Yeah, kind of funny. Um, ah, man. Oh, hey. This isn't happening, man. Hudson, you really saved my balls. Thank you. What I kind of like about the mobile phone version is that you can actually get certain points and get extra turns. Here I think it's just a, a solid three turns and that's it. Which kind of sucks. Uh, I do have isolation. Um, but gosh, I mean, that's a patience trying game. I, I don't know if I'd... Oh, uh oh, okay. Facehugger's attacking. I don't know if I'd have the patience to stream through that. I, I, I'm not sure. Plus, I really suck at it, to be perfectly honest with you. You don't get turns, you get balls. That's right. Uh, yeah, I did catch uh, a little bit of that interview. Just kind of like the highlights of uh, Neil Bloomcomp <laughs> talking to uh, Joe Rogan. Pretty much saying, ah, fuck. Pretty much saying, ah, fuck. Uh, pretty much saying, yeah, Fox wasn't interested. Um, I think because they saw Chappie. Which, I mean, Chappie, it was alright. Like oh, wait, I do have an extra. Okay, there we go. Which, I'd still like to see what Blomkamp, Bloomcamp, Bloomcomp, whatever, uh, has to, uh, has to offer. They literally, they do have a pinball game for just about everything. Just like they have, like, Monopoly for everything. But, interestingly enough, they do not have an Aliens Monopoly, which I would love. I would, I would absolutely love an Aliens Monopoly. Why don't they have that? They have Star Wars Monopoly, Lord of the Rings Monopoly. Anything, anything you think of, they Monopoly. Oh, come on. What a bunch of bullshit. Uh, Jake Bradley says, What are your thoughts on Ridley Scott's ability to make new Aliens content? And yeah, high, high hopes for the upcoming show. 
Uh, you know, I I enjoyed Prometheus and Covenant. I thought, oh, game over, man. It's, game over. it's game over, man. Um, I enjoyed those two films. I know they're controversial with other fans, but a lot a lot really liked them too. So it's it's kind of hard to to please everybody. Uh, but I do have ultimately I have faith in him, and, and I do think that he can. Uh, deliver if, if he chooses to do so another movie or as I understand he is going to be involved with the series like at first it wasn't too certain but now it seems that seems to be the case he is involved with the show so uh, I'm confident uh, in, in his, his his involvement so let's try wait did I go back no 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 oh, so, sorry uh Let's go back. We're going to try one of the different tables now. See, and look, they have like so many different they have like Marvel tables, Jurassic Park, Back to the Future, Jaws, E.T., like a million different Star Wars, any Star Wars you can think of, uh, Fallout, Doom, Skyrim, Family Guy, Bob's Burgers, Archer, American Dad, they have all this. Um, but let's, let's stick to Aliens. Uh, Alien Theory, have you ever been mistaken for human? Uh, no, have you? Let's try Alien versus Predator. A Doom, Dune table, that, uh, that would be interesting. Dune. But I said Doom. Dune? Oh, speaking of which, Doom 3 is installed. They're a really good um, deal. Ten bucks, you get uh, Doom 2016. Original Doom, Original Doom 2. And uh, Doom 3. Great games. Doot. Doot. <laughs> you do not have wizard powers? Or upgrade? What? Yeah, I'll go without the wizard powers. That's great. This table's pretty cool. Hopefully I can get some good stuff going here. Um, there's certain things you have to do, like certain crazy pyramid tricks. It's time to pick a side. This one, unfortunately, the voice acting is very um, Resident Evil-y, which isn't the best. I like the Aliens table the best because it's like, you know, straight out of the movie. Here it sort of is supposed to be the AVP movie, but it's it's obviously not the actors, not uh, Santa Lathan and the Italian fella. What are those creatures doing? Look, you can shoot the ball out with the alien. <laughs> okay. There we go. Nice. Off to a good start. try to do is break down that piece of pyramid and get that alien out of there. It's tough though. Come on. Come on. <laughs> See it grab for the ball. There we go. Uh oh. Come on. Yeah. Boom. Just like the movie. AVP Evolution on mobile? Oh my god. Uh, I thought I had lost it forever. Ah, oh shit, the wall went back up. Uh, I thought I lost it forever, but um, I found it in my downloads, and so now I have it back on my phone, which is amazing. I have to figure out this pyramid puzzle here. It's very complicated. There we go. And the game kind of holds up. The graphics aren't too bad on AVP Evolution. Like, it's nothing, like, amazing, but I, I don't think the game's too old anyway. I think it came out only a couple of years ago. Which would see no more if you like best. I like Big Chap. Big Chap from the original. Always going to be my favorite. 
And I like the runner alien from Alien 3. What I really want to do, and I forget how to activate it. You can ash. Ah, like you can like make the, the whole board or uh, the whole table turn like infrared, like the the predator vision. Alien Theory, have you played Animal Crossing? Yes, absolutely. I love Animal Crossing. It's like my favorite game. My island is called LV426. Uh, I'm a big fan. Big fan. And that's like my skill level. <laughs> what, I, what I'm most used to for video games, which is why I'm a little nervous about Fireteam, to be honest with you. I, I'm more... I'm more a casual kind of gamer. I'm not too hardcore, to be perfectly honest. Though I do like some of the harder stuff. Like, I like the Doom stuff, obviously. Um, and Cuphead. I've been playing a lot of Cuphead, and that game is hard as shit. Just sub today. Thank you for subbing. He's clearly aiming at those targets now. Should play Warzone. No, Mercedes Chevalier. I should not. Hey, dude, I just saw you were online. I just wanted to give you a big face hug for all the wonderful work you've done for us fans. Oh, thank you so much. Ah, yeah, ah fuck. Thank you so much. I love it. I love making the alien videos. It's, you know, indescribable. But you'll probably never see me as a, a gamer because I'm not that good. Is he controlling it? Watch your step. Like you're not going to see too many live streams from. I think this is like, in the whole history of my channel, maybe my not counting the one I just did earlier that was muted, uh, maybe like my fifth live stream. So I, I'm not big on it. Uh, I did try Twitch for a little bit, but I don't know. It's not. It's not my thing. Oh, whoa! Did you see that? It's not my thing. Ah, I gotta get the alien. He has a backup plan. Ah, did you see that? Are you going to play Fire Team solo? That's that's the plan. Uh, if I can stay up, which I'm sure I can. Uh, waiting till midnight for it to to drop. Look at him go. Ah shit. Do you have any headcanon for the franchise that you'd like to share? Uh, not, not that I can think of, no. Damn, that thing's Nothing something. that comes to mind immediately. But I'm always open, of course. I mean, I'm always open to theories it's and interpretations and things like that. But nothing specific comes to mind. Easy way to make some points. Got a cameo from Bean for my 18th birthday, turned 18. That's awesome. I got one too. I, I put it on my channel. Um, he's cool. Like, the fact that he said stay frosty to me. Oh, see, look, here we go. That's cool. No! Oh. See, I think gameplay-wise, this this turned out better than the original video, anyway. 
though I'm still afraid to uh, venture into the alien isolation board. Or table, I keep saying board. Ah, oh, shit. One less thing to worry about. Dr. Anishi's Psychosis Lab says, Love you, channel. I'm fat to dunk to be in here. Oh, I'm far too drunk to be in here. Hey, man. Place. You know, chill out. Have a seat. In the words of Morpheus Spiken, share your experience with no one. What was said to you is for you alone. Holy moly says, cheers, doctor. Cred Ed Edward says, are there any alien fan films? I watched a great Predator one called Predator Dark Ages on YT. Recommend. Ah, uh, there's a few. Ah, gosh, I can't remember the names off the top of my head, unfortunately. Uh, there's one recent one that actually had Rico Ross and Carrie Henn in it. I can't remember the name though. But it was fairly, fairly recent. Single player results. 13 million lucky. Lucky Single 13. And hot seat. Well, anyway, I said, again, is there a good book or comic book about the downfall of Hadley's Hope? Uh, really, the only comic book version is Newt's Tale. Aliens Newt's Tale from, from Dark Horse, which was, I guess, 92 or 93. That's about it. The, trash pi the Trashed Picture Show. How are you finding the Marvel series? I just can't get into the art is shite. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I like the story. I think it's, it's something a little bit different, something we haven't quite seen before. There is... Kind of a human anchor to it a uh, father and son kind of story but the art takes you out of it it really does and that's so unfortunate like you, you know you, you go for it for the cool xenomorph art not to see tracings of toys it's it's discouraging it really is and i mean i'll say that um aliens aftermath was was quite good in ter like I mean the story was nothing too special it was it was okay it was kind of a novel thing right um, but the art was really really good and you can tell this is an actual artist um, but with wh whoever I forget the name of the I don't even want to bother remembering the name but for the uh, bloodlines storyline it's it's just toy tracings it's it's awful it's horrible it's very discouraging as I said uh, more discouraging than this fucking table. <laughs> which is the hardest of the three tables. Here he comes. Stompy. The graphics are pretty close to the actual game. Pretty close. And I think the sound effects are from the game. Alien Theory swore a mind blown. No, I swear. I swear. If if you see me playing uh, Fireteam Elite later, I'm sure you'll hear a lot of swearing. Uh, did you ever play Alien Isolation itself, Theory? Yes, but I'm not good at it. I'm really not. Um, Maurice Vambi, uh, Maurice Vomb says, Thanks for the Aliens content, man. It helped me get out of bed and take study seriously as a medical student. That's good. I mean, we need all the medical students we can get. Welcome, Just don't talk to any androids named David who will trick you into some questionable experimentation. Yeah, this table is just... Look at this. Look, it's way too easy to lose your balls. What's happening out there, Ripley? Something is lurking in those shadows, Ripley. Clinton Hall Because. says, love your videos. Man, keep doing what you do. Thank you. I absolutely will. I love doing them. I really do. And I love just, you know, sharing the love of aliens with everybody. It's not safe here. From all over. It's a dream. And I think, you know, it would be fun and a little bit different to, to play Fireteam Elite like kind of experience it firsthand and, and maybe for people who uh oh what's happening here 
Well, just maybe for people who maybe might be on the fence about it, they'll you know get to see. Watch out for hostile activity. Great working Joe's. They'll get to see some gameplay, see if you know if it's worth it. Uh, some of the early reviews have been positive moving. though. I've been hearing good things. Nothing like oh my god, mind blowing. This is the greatest game of all time. But hey, this is a solid production. Uh, a very small development team has pulled off something. Very, a supply depot in the region. you know, very much with the feel of a big budget production. So, I mean, it's it's good. It's it's good to take a leap of faith every now and again. I have to hurry. We can see see what the big productions end up, you know, plopping out sometimes, like with Colonial Marines, right? So, we don't have time for this. Great Superman alien video, mind blown, like legit. Thank you, thank you for watching. Oh man, I love making that one. That was so cool. Play nice. And such a good story, like a good, a genuinely good mix of Superman and alien stories. I think. Something is closing on you. The alien is nearby. Uh oh. Here he is. Hey man, if you're ever in Germany or whatever else on... Ah! Fuck, hit me Slow up. Down. I'll show you around Bay 12. Bay 12, please. Uh-oh. Oh, this part. All the working Joes. Ah, oh, man. Always no working Joe. I can't see it through the monitor. It's gone, Ripley. What's happening out there, Ripley? Me out. We are on our own. Did you hear that? Sleep well. Sleep well. See, like, Be more cautious. just the design of this board, it's so unfair. Stay focused. It's game over, man. We might be in trouble. Enemies approaching your position. Eat this! Eat Sleep this! Well. I couldn't really get into Blackout either. It, it wasn't great. I'd rather play this, to be honest with you. And I don't even like this board. Now this stay. table, not Good. board. I have to hurry. Sleep well. Oh, no. Be more cautious, Oh, boy. Yeah, well, there goes the festival station. Game over, man. Game over. You have leveled up and upgraded this case. Single player results. Well, that's Aliens versus Pinball. Um, Single player and hot seat. 
Why not play Alien Isolation? That game is arguably the best one we have in the franchise. It, it absolutely is. I mean, it's 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 a great game, but uh, you know, I, it, this is just kind of a, a practice stream, a, a warm up stream with the anticipation for Fireteam Elite, of course, uh, and that I'll be playing since it's, since it's new. And frankly, uh, you know, uh, Alien Isolation, you got to put a lot of time into it. I mean, geez, even if you're an expert at that game, that, that takes a few hours to get down. And I can assure you, I'm not an expert at the game. I'm, I'm quite uh, I, I lack the skills for such a game. Uh, so it, it took me a really long time to get, get through it when it first came out. I, I got it, like, the day it came out. I remember I was so excited. Um, I was kind of doing the same thing that I was that I'm doing right now, you know, waiting for the download and waiting for it to, you know, be be up and running. Um, but yeah, to, to do a live stream of the game, I, I don't know if you'll ever see that. At, at the very least, I might maybe do like a, a recording and I don't know, put in certain clips or I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, how about Aliens for the Commodore 64? <laughs> uh, never played that, but that could be... That would be fun to revisit. Like, revisit old, older games, you know, like the Atari Alien from 1979. Um, I, I, I'd like to kind of take look backs and retrospectives at, at some of the games. Uh, like, you know, how many different Alien 3 games we had. Genesis, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy. Uh, and I think that was on the Commodore 64 as well. Um, a very very poor, poor version of it um, so that's that's pretty much it for for the pinball fun and games that we're having for right now kind of a warm-up uh, but my plan is to get a hold of, of the game and, and play it at, at release time at midnight uh, right now it's I don't even know maybe it's it, it's getting close it's getting close to midnight. We're at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, just about, approximately. Uh, so, give or take some of the time it might take for a certain additional downloads. Like, I got the Deluxe Edition, so it has extra stuff. Like, I don't really know what any of this stuff is. I just hear Deluxe. I'm like, okay, let me... I want the Deluxe treatment. So I don't know what the hell Season Pass means or whatever. Like, th those games, like Fortnite or Call of Duty, and when they say Season Pass, I don't really know what that means. So, I'm I'm not a, an expert gamer. So if you do decide to, to tune into me playing it, you won't see too too skilled of a player playing. But uh, I will be playing it on PS4. This is a PS4 uh, that I'll be playing it on. Um, it'll be just kind of fun to you know take a look around, seeing the locations, and seeing how they kind of. Uh, developed it. It'll be interesting to see. You know, it's a small team that made it. They, they made it from all that I've heard uh, with, with a lot of love, uh, with, with a lot of devotion, and it took a lot of time. So the, the time is finally here. That uh, season pass DLC is included for a little time. See, I, I, I don't know. So I'm sure I'll get some, I'll get some nice stuff for the guns. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So I'm, I'm very excited for it. A relaxed man. We're not judging the gameplay. Just here to enjoy our collective play. Yeah, that's that's exactly it. So you're not going to see, you know, like, uh, totally hardcore skilled gamer, but you're going to see someone who, who really loves Alien uh, enjoying the game. And that's what it's all about, right? Uh, Cole says, uh, Alien Theory, which movie is your favorite personally? My favorite is Prometheus because my father and I love uh, all, all the phil philosophical uh, references. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can totally understand that uh, with, with the, the, the angles to Prometheus. I still love the first one. Uh, Alien and Aliens, it's kind of so close to a tie for me, but I always kind of say if, you, if you're going to twist my arm between the two, I'll say Alien. Uh, just uh, by a hair is my favorite. But uh, for now, uh, I'm going to leave you guys. If, if you're up a little bit later, uh, around midnight Eastern Standard Time, 
you'll probably see me uh, playing the game, exploring a little bit, maybe, you know, give or take five or ten minutes or so, see whatever, downloads, whatever. Uh, so that's exciting. Uh, maybe I'll have, you know, a, a coffee or, or a, a, a soda and uh, get myself caffeinated and <laughs> play it. Uh, is there a possibility to play Fireteam with you tomorrow? Uh, I would love to go long shot inside you with a sharp stick. <laughs> um, that I don't know. For, for now, like, even... Uh, for this stream, I think I'm just gonna go, you know, single player campaign, if that's even an option. I think you can have bots too. Um, I wanna get a feel for it first. Uh, I don't wanna bring anybody down. Uh, I bought a monster for. Ah, shit, I should have got a monster or something, or like a Red Bull or something like that. Um, nah, well, whatever, whatever. Um, I'll, I'll figure something out. But, uh, yeah, join me then. I'll, I'll sign off for now. Uh, Maybe, uh, you know, charge charge the, the remote controller, <laughs> something like that. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you showing up. Uh, sorry, Jimmy. Jimmy, you missed the pinball. I'm, I'm very sorry, but uh, tune in a little bit later. Uh, we'll be playing uh, Fireteam Elite, so that should be fun. Uh, but until then, this is Alien Theory, signing off, and I'll see you guys later.